This is a microwave from one of my rental properties. The part number is this. Let's see if we can scan in. There we go. HVM15400. hard to get that on the screen but it says service may be needed keypad shorted and then it um, and it makes that nice beautiful beeping sound which you can't get to stop one of the things that they say to do is have the door open hold the clear and off button and, close, and check the um, ribbons that are on like this side of it and see if those ribbons need to be reset. I have this thing set up in my, my family room um, because uh, I didn't know what to do right at my tenant's place, so I just took it out and brought it home. They're not that heavy. Um, you could do this repair. If I would have known exactly what the repair was, you could have done it right on site. So the first thing we got to take out is these two screws that'll be on the top, which are accessible when the cabinets, because the cabinets only come out to here. We'll tell, I'm going to go ahead and take those two screws out first. And since I don't have my handy buddy Will to do my video, this will be a couple stops in between uh, each step so I can perform the task. And check the um, ribbons that are on like this side of it and see if those ribbons need to be reset. Alright, so to help understand the removal of this so you don't break any of the tabs off, when this thing is all the way in, after you take the two screws out, this one over here and this one, you'll then slide this whole unit to the left with the door open, and then the bottom and top will slide out. As you can see, there's some, some clips down at the bottom, and so that's why it's got to go left to get out of the little notches that are down in there. And then you just remove this piece. Okay, next is there's a screw right here that you have to remove. When you remove that, I'm pretty sure this little tiny uh, wire uh, grill section will also come out. And then I'll show you the removal of the keypad. Okay, after you remove that screw, this thing just, the whole keypad just lifts up and then you can pull it out. And uh, the ribbon I'm talking about is right here and what I'm going to do first is remove all the connections and all these connections have are regular old snaps that you should be able to remove they're all different types so um, they should go back in the respective spots when you go to reassemble it so I'm going to take it out and then uh, show you the ribbon up I'm close. I'm show you each one of these connectors just so there's no issue when you guys go to remove it. Uh, this white one, has, of course, has a tab at the top that releases the... Whoops, sorry. Has a tab at the top, which releases the bottom. Same thing with this one. You push on a little tab at the top, and it opens it. Same with that one. This one, this blue one, has a little tab on the front, and you basically pull that tab away, and then it pops out. That's the only four. And then down here is the ribbon that uh, can sometimes need to get cleaned up or reseated. So to pop that, whoops, let me get my thumb out of there. There we go. To pop that up, this just pops up like that. And then the ribbon will just slide right out. Um, so again, you just pop that up. It goes up and then the ribbon will slide right out and what we're going to do is um, look at the ribbon real good make sure there's no damage to it and then we will um, try to maybe clean it if it needs it um, it doesn't look like it's dirty nothing inside of this whole unit looks dirty so we're just going to um, reseat it down in there again 
and uh, put it back together and see if the error stops. All right, I'll try to show you this the best I can without my trusty buddy Will. So when you reseat this, you're going to put it in. Of course, line it up in the hole there. Let me try to get a better view here, and you just push it down in there. And then grab it and give it a nice push until you feel it like seat down in there real good. Wiggle it to the left and the right to make sure it's all the way down. And then push the clip down over it. Give it a little tug. Make sure it's still in there. And then uh, we'll reassemble this back in in reverse order as we took it out. Putting all the wires back on and putting the cover back on. And then uh, power it back up and see if the error goes away. Okay, so I uh, plugged it back up. Um, I didn't put the top piece on it yet. Um, just, you know, check and make sure it works. And um, it goes through an instant, this uh, process to make sure it's good. A little bunch of lines and X's. And then it tells you to hit the clock button. So now you hit the clock button. And it says enter the time. We'll call it one o'clock right now. And then we hit clock again. Then it says select A and PM. We will select one. And then um, we should be able to hit one minute. Let's say, oh no, clock or start. Hit clock again. And now I hit one minute. And there it is working. And I hit off, and we're good. No cost to do this fix. You just have to have a little bit of knowledge. And that's all it is, folks. Pull the ribbon, make sure it's seated in there good, and put it back together. Uh, problem solved. You don't need a new keypad. You don't need a new microwave. And you technically, I could have done it right there had I been uh, a little bit more knowledgeable about what needed to be done. But now I do, and now you do. Like this, and subscribe if you would.